Two students are in trouble tonight for making serious threats against schools in DeForest that forced all buildings there to close, prompting worry and confusion for both students and parents. Our Belinda Jones has more on the ongoing investigation. Despite all schools within the district of DeForest being closed all day Friday, law enforcement is releasing little details tonight in regards to the investigation that they say centers around threats of students bringing explosives and weapons to schools. That question is directly related to the investigation. I'm not able to release it at this point. Too close to the investigation that police say involve at least two students that go to school within the district. And it's very disturbing when anybody's safety is in question. I think we can agree that it is even more disturbing when it involves our children. The decision to close schools was not taken lightly. The safety of our students and staff was our top priority. Two male students were taken into custody in connection with the threats. One boy's been charged and is being monitored by an electronic bracelet, but with no school specifically targeted and all schools closed, parents and students faced a shocking reality. At first I was thinking, Wow, a day off of school, and then it hit me. Wait, it's a threat. It's not like a snow day or anything like that. There's actually someone that's threatening our school. It's just really scary to think that, you know, it could happen so close to home and it could actually be real. The district sent out notifications through social media and phone systems, but with school set to reopen next week, they're switching their focus from threat to management to make sure students feel safe returning back. We'll be working with our school psychologists, our social workers, and our guidance counselors to make sure that first we're providing our families with resources to give them some links to just think about um, reassuring kids, acknowledging the feelings, monitoring their own responses as adults. Law enforcement plans to continue to search all the schools throughout the weekend, but they do expect to reopen this coming Tuesday. In DeForest, I'm Felina Jones, WISC News 3. The Dane County Sheriff's Department is working with DeForest Police. Sheriff Dave Mahoney says the investigation has actually been ongoing for two weeks.